हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो आज की वीडियो में हम लोग लोकल वेरिएबल ग्लोबल वेरिएबल एंड स्कोप ऑफ अ वेरिएबल के बारे में जानने वाले हैं सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट्स रियली डिफिकल्ट टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन दीज वेरिएबल्स सो आज की वीडियो में हम लोग बारी बारी से हर एक वेरिएबल के बारे में जानने वाले हैं सो so, चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं विथ लोकल वेरिएबल्स लोकल वेरिएबल सो गाइज मैंने पहले से यहाँ पे कुछ सेट ऑफ कोड लिख रखा है बिकॉज लास्ट के दो वीडियो में इट वॉज लिटिल बिट टाइम कंज्यूमिंग डेट्स वाई सो वॉट इज लोकल वेरिएबल सो वेन वी डिक्लेयर अ वेरिएबल इन साइड द फंक्शन इट इज सेट टू बी लोकल वेरिएबल सो गाइज वेन बी डिक्लेयर अ वेरिएबल इन साइड द फंक्शन इट इज सेट टू बी लोकल वेरिएबल सो हेयर आई हैव डिक्लेयर अ वेरिएबल विथ नेम एज सो दिस वेरिएबल इज लोकल वेरिएबल सो वी कैन एक्सेस दिस लोकल वेरिएबल इन साइड द मेन फंक्शन सो लोकल वेरिएबल इज एक्सेबल इन साइड द फंक्शन we can't access the local variable outside the function so now we will see global variable so guys global variable ko dekhte hain global variable what is global variable so when we declare a variable outside all the function it is said to be global variable so guys jaisa ki maine likha hai what is global variable when we declare a variable outside all the function it is said to be global variable so here I have declared a variable with a name age, so it is global variable. So guys, global variable can be accessed from anywhere. It's not only accessible inside the function. We can access the global variable from anywhere. And now we can also run this program. So we get our desired output. So guys. look this program and try to guess the output of this program what would be the output in this case so in this program yeah so this is a local variable so if we do not initialize a local variable with a value and if we want to access it here try to we want to access it so it may give an any value we might get zero we might get garbage value as well so let's run the program and see yeah so zero if we do not initialize a local variable with a value we might get zero we might get garbage value as well now let's see this program and try to guess the output of this program as well so this is one of the example of a global variable Yeah, so this is global variable. So try to guess the output of this program. What would be the output in this case? So if we do not initialize a global variable with a value, so we get a default value as zero. So let's run the program and check. Yeah, so we are getting our desired output. so in case of a global variable if we do not initialize a global variable with a value we get default value as zero this very special case of a global variable so jaisa ki humne abhi dekha ki if we declare a variable outside all the function it is said to be global variable but kya global variable function ke niche declare or initialize kiya ja sakta hai ya nahi so guys bilkul kiya ja sakta hai so with the help of a external keyword 
we can declare and initialize our global variable below the function so let's see this is our global variable so use extern keyword extern keyword and outside the function write declare and initialize and now let's run the program yeah so guys congratulations we are creating our desired output guys, let's solve this problem and try to guess the output of this program so it's a really interesting question so if we declare a local variable and a global variable with the same name so what would be the output our question is if we declare a local and global variable with same name what would be the output of this program so guys ye aapka question hai ye apna global variable aur ye apna local variable so guys aapko kya lagta hai hamare console pe kya print hone wala hai 10 print hone wala hai ya 20 print hone wala hai so guys pause this video here and try to guess the output of this program yourself so guys here comes the concept of scope so whenever we create a function it creates a scope so whatever variable we declare inside the scope they are first accessible so we get the output as 10 because when we create a function it creates a scope so this scope ke andar jo hamara variable hai wo kaun sa variable hai local variable so hamara local variable print hone wala hai look this program and try to guess the output of this program pause this video here and try to guess the output of this program yourself so guys here comes the concept of so here also same concept the concept of a scope this is our outermost scope and this is our innermost scope so there is multiple scoping so in case of multiple scoping in case of multiple scoping innermost scope will accessed first so guys multiple scoping ke case mein aapka jo innermost scope hai wo aapka sabse pehle access hoga so i hope aapne output guess kar liya hoga so let's run the program our output will be 30 so guys we get our desired output look this program and try to guess the output of this program so pause this video here and try to guess the output of this program yourself so first let's run the program and see what would be the output so guys it's compiler error why it's compiler error because in a single scope it's a innermost scope so in a single scope we have declared a variable with the same name so in that case we are getting compiler error so whenever we are declaring a variable with the same name in a single scope we are getting compiler error now i'm going to share some couple of points regarding scope so whenever we want to wish to create a new new scope so we can create a new scope by using a pair of curly brackets so guys like function our loops like for loop while loop our conditional statement if else these all 
also creates a new scope. The outer scope variable are accessible in inner scope, but vice versa is not true. So guys, that's all for today. So I hope आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आया होगा. So guys, please support, like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you guys.